about the Office of the Inspector General. Is it correct that you asked for a increase in the um, IAG budget for 24? Yeah, I think um, that this is what was asked for. Um, you know, we, we obviously support the, so the FY24 request included 165 million for the OIG, which was more than double what the 23 enacted was, which was 86 million. Okay, let me ask this question. Why was that uh, amount not asked for prior? And here's why I ask. Uh, the IIJA and the IRA, which were passed previous to this Congress, um, actually had a incredibly small amount proportionately of money given to the Inspector General uh, for those two programs. Uh, and let me give you some, a little bit of, of maybe background and numbers. Under the IIJA CHIPS and the IRA, Congress authorized or appropriated $127.5 billion to the DOE and increased the DOE's direct loan guarantee authority by $350 billion. However, both those three programs only appropriated a small amount of the money to the IG to oversee these funds, and you've already begun doling them out and plan to do so over the next five years. Why were you not adamant when these programs are being put together and passed um, in the last Congress by Democrats? Why were you not insisting that more money go to the IG to be able to oversee these programs so that when your organization is doling out these funds, you can ensure that you're not wasting taxpayer money? Yeah, we, we want to make sure that we're not uh, waiting. But, but you had the rise. opportunity to do that with these bills and didn't. As a matter of fact, IAJA, uh, the percentage of that particular bill going to the depart to the um, inspector general is 0.1%, and the IRA is 0.05%. When the, when the, um, the, the benchmark is 0.35%. Um, the money has started to flow. And we've requested double the amount of money, and we want the. But why did you general, not ask for it previous to now? Well, we're we're These asking bills were for double a year or two now. ago. I mean, we're asking for double. We we support the, uh, <laughs> you know, the inspector general. So you want to? The you inspector wanna... general comes and makes their own case here too. So and they have based on these numbers. You have the ability. Let me also make one other, I think, uh, note here that there's actually been a request from the inspector general's office to allow for um, some additional funding to be transferred to them. Uh, House Energy and Water Appropriations Bill has proposed a transfer of unobligated funds to the department. Um, but you haven't supported that transfer. Why are you trying to, um, you know, hide or not be transparent with taxpayer money? Can I just say, you know, we requested last year an increase of 100, we requested 107 million, but it was Congress that funded only at 86 million. Well, but you also had the opportunity to actually put money into these programs initially and didn't ask for that. I think it's troubling that the Department of Energy doesn't want to be transparent with taxpayer money. With that, Mr. Chairman. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Jennifer Granholm is a filthy swamp creature of Washington who is essentially stealing her money, right? By the way, also look into some of her stock picks and the things she's gotten away with over there. This lady is rotten from the inside out, straight from the core. But what we're talking about here is taxpayer money, right? Government money. That comes from us, me and you. Our hard-earned dollars causing us time away from our families, our children, our hobbies, doing anything else but giving the government money, really. And it's completely unfair. We should not just give our money to Washington and have no idea where it's going other than Jennifer Granholm's pet projects. And you talk about all of this government money. Let's talk about public school. Yeah, that's taxpayer funded school. So those principals and school board members, they work for you, not the other way around. Another example is NPR, National Public Radio and Public Broadcasting. That's funded by taxpayers. Our government probably shouldn't be involved in broadcasting if they're also regulating it on the FCC side. Another conversation for another day. We are giving our hard-earned dollars to a government that shows us absolutely no accountability. We know nothing. Yet we are taxed to the hills, to the teeth, yelled at for $600 in a Venmo transaction 
when these people spend like drunken sailors. So no, we need to get these people out of Washington. They've been there too long and they're too fat and happy because we need to pay less, not more taxes. And we need people in Washington who care about our hard earned money as much as we do.